air do foo foo and makes it more <laughs> powerful and fun. Hello, Eddie. Hello. One word. Oh my god. Jesus. <laughs> Holy moly. <laughs> the time has finally arrived. It is warm and sunny out. The Z06 is coming out of hibernation. It's been like six months since I've driven the car. So I'm obviously extremely excited to bring the Corvette out, have lots of cool updates, some interesting things to share, but obviously the most important thing is getting the car ready for the summer and driving weather, finally. Last fall, I shipped it from Chicago out to Michigan. It's been stored in the garage here. My good friend Jason was nice enough to help clean the car up under the car cover on the trickle charger, and it's just been sitting here in hibernation mode. So we'll take it off the trickle charger, cover off, check the tires, tire pressures, get it up and ready to go. And it's gonna be the first time driving the Z06 in Michigan in 2024. I also have other exciting news. I could introduce my beautiful girlfriend, Angel. Hi, everybody. Say hi to YouTube. Hi, YouTube. Are you excited to check out the Z06? I am, the Z06. The, no. Oh. <laughs> so I get to say I have a international girlfriend, even though she's Canadian, <laughs> right? Uh, you're not that into cars though. I'm not. Yeah. I don't know a lot about cars, but since hanging out with you, I've learned quite a bit. Been in a few um, really unique cars. Of so the press I'm cars. excited to learn about the automotive industry and kind of what's out there. And, and the Z06. Yeah, exactly. My favorite child is coming out. Z06. <laughs> Z06. Z06. So, uh, first things first, car cover off. You've never even seen this car, honey. Nope. Never it's even really seen. Low. Oh, yeah. You like tall cars. So, she likes the Colorado ZR2 AEV. I she liked the that. Defender. You like the SUVs. Yes. The Rivian was pretty cool too. I Rivian really enjoyed was. that one. Yeah. This is like the complete opposite end of the spectrum from the Rivian. Yeah, so we'll use a lot of our abs to slide in and get out. <laughs> oh yes. Okay. I did watch that video of you actually getting the car. And you oh, you watched so my excited. delivery video? Yeah, you sent it to me. Oh. I watched it. Oh yeah. Well, sometimes I send stuff to you and you don't pay attention, so. No, that's not true. You want to help like no. pull from yes, the side yes, and. Of course. All right, just careful not to let it touch the You're ground. Shiny. Yeah, it's still nice and clean. Thank you, Jason, for detailing the Corvette. So it's all clean coming out. All right, before we start the car up, we have some exciting news. So Escort Radar has set me up with a discount code for all of my followers, 10% off discount code to get a radar detector. I've ran an Escort Max 360 for many, many years. This is the new version, and you guys should all know, having a radar detector is definitely very helpful. And Escort actually also does this like ticket guarantee where they will pay for a radar or laser ticket if you get one while running one of their products. They've got a whole lineup ranging from like entry level to mid tier to the really powerful stuff. This one here is the Max 3 360C Mark II, so this is what I will be running in the Z06 from now on because, of course, we need to have a radar detector because, I mean, it's 670 horsepower just for common sense sake. So, we'll be opening this up. The link is in the bio below. I'll include it. Uh, use my discount code. It should be something like EddieX for 10% off. Get yourself a radar detector. And with that, what is in your Corvette right now? Uh, like what my old one. My old one. Oh, so this okay. is the new oh, one. the old version of yeah, that? Yeah, this is a new one. Ah, I've had that so, old what's one the difference? Years. New is always better, honey. It's got a faster response, 50% improved range. Oh. Um, it's got auto learn intelligence, learn to reject false alert locations. That's also really important because like sometimes when you drive by like a, like a Meyer, like when they have the uh, automatic doors, it can pick up those and it'll be false positives and so forth. So it's good to be able to filter those. Oh, interesting. Those. Yeah, radar okay. detectors cool. are pretty awesome. So we've got that now. The car should all be, it's on a trickle charger, so battery should be Ooh, cool. it's so pretty. Yeah, look wow. at the interior. I haven't seen it. Oh, it's really vibrant. Yeah. I matched, I ordered it brand new, so I ordered it exactly how I wanted it. Two-tone blue with okay. the leather and carbon fiber. It's my first time seeing it. It looks yeah. brand new. How many miles are, are, is, is on it? I think I'm at like 40, 4,500 something. I want to drive a lot more. I mean, the car has lasted a year, which means it's a keeper. Okay. Um, you didn't know me when I was flipping through cars like a maniac. Right. Like right. Every six months I'd buy something new. But oh, the frunk is The really front trunk small. here? Trickle charger can Oh, but it's out. deep. It's yeah. a deep trunk. And I have a trunk in the back too. There's a front trunk and a rear trunk. So you can pack as many shoes as you want for overnight Ooh. trips. Can I see um, how big the trunk is? Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. That is a lot of space. Yeah, it's pretty practical. Not as much as my Honda CRV, but. <laughs> well, if we're going to play that game, I have an A8L. <laughs>
that wasn't as loud as I thought it was going to be. Oh, there you go, the valve just opened. Uh, so now we're a bit louder. As expected, all the tires are low. They're showing 26 PSI, it's been sitting all winter. Well, they'll air those up to the correct tire pressures and wait for everything to warm up because oil temp is currently 50 degrees Fahrenheit. Obviously, it's been sitting for a long time, so I'll let it idle for quite a while. I just got a vehicle over there update available. Do I do it? An update? So these cars have over there updates where they push them, but some oh. people Corvettes have had like minor little issues with them. So I have actually refused a couple of them and obviously the first time coming out after a whole winter. The I funniest see. thing, I saw somebody who had an over there update and then they turned their car on and it showed a Cadillac look on the screen. Oh gosh. Like, wait, I have a Chevy. I'll do it later. <laughs> Welcome to the sunshine. The Z06 is out of the garage, out of hibernation. Six months parked away. I have missed this car so much. Oh my God, it looks so good. And it's nice and clean. Thank you again, Jason. I owe you dinner again. But man, the Boston wheels. All right, so we also have this big box, which is very exciting from Paragon Performance and Evan Curry. And as you can guess, probably it's an intake for the Z06. They have this epic carbon fiber intake for the Z06, which I was eyeing when it first came out and launched. So we're not gonna install this today because I need friends who are more mechanically skilled than I am because I am inept. So we will do that probably next weekend, but I wanna open it up because this is gonna be cool. They claim like pretty into like pretty uh, noticeable power increases across the mid band. I can, I'm gonna look up the actual numbers, but it was something like 18 wheel horsepower peak and like 20 or 30 something wheel horsepower and torque across the mid range, which in a naturally aspirated car that doesn't have much low end torque is noticeable. And it'll sound really cool. And it'll look really cool. Oh man, they sent me nice goodies. So we've got some Paragon Performance swag, which is nice. I never wear hats because my head is like annoyingly big and I look dumb wearing hats. Would you agree? Let's see. No, it looks good. Does it? Yeah. Does it? I like never wear hats. Oh. Whoa. Ooh. Look at that. All right, that's it. That's a little peek we get. Okay. So that, ah, everything's blown away. It cuts into the trunk a little bit, but that'll mm -hmm. be exciting. So that is to come. Nice, okay. Z06 mods beginning. Oh yeah, they make air do shoo shoo and makes it more <laughs> powerful and fun. Alrighty. There we go. Uh -huh. So what we'll be doing is pulling this trunk liner out. The factory air box is like underneath here. And then uh, once we install it, we actually cut a hole in this and they have like this like plexiglass window. I so it's see. like a little display thing. You'll be able to see that gorgeous carbon intake on here. It'll make a bit more power and some more noise and doesn't require a tune. So it's essentially, from what I understand, optimizing factory airflow. Um, so the car, the mask can handle everything. A little more power, sounds cool, looks cool. Those are the kinds of mods I like, like OEM plus. I have no interest in force induction on this thing because uh, it has plenty enough power, which you'll we'll experience soon, Angel. Mm. Um, and it sounds utterly amazing already. Finishing up dinner, we're gonna head out to Woodward. So let's start the car up, let it warm up. <laughs> that everything is warmed up let's hear some of those revs so much. This is actually the first time I'm driving it in Michigan. It got shipped out here last fall, like I mentioned, and before that, it went straight from the uh, museum, at the museum delivery, to Michigan for PPF, but I didn't see it. And then it went out to California, where I picked it up and drove it to Arizona, and then it went to Chicago for the entire time I've had it. So, first time getting to bring it out to Woodward, which is obviously a pretty popular place to take fun cars. The weather's nice. There'll probably be some people out, and I want ice cream. Do you want ice cream, honey? I do, yes. I'm excited about that. Ice cream, ice cream, maybe coffee? coffee? Yes, coffee, coffee yeah. and ice cream. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
I did like a mini acceleration. I just up to the speed limit, but it was uh, maybe I a little bit above the speed limit. Yeah, and I see a black Suburban coming towards me, just flashes his headlights, I'm like, oh, that was a cop. Ice cream obtained. It's a little early, a little cold, but you know, we're celebrating having the Corvette out. Um, are you cold, honey? I'm cold. All right, let me grab you another jacket and then we'll head to out of office garage for warm. Yeah, the car's yeah, fully right. PPF, yep. Even the paint Take a guess. No, I wanted her to guess. Oh, okay, paint protection. Yeah, I did a good job. Yeah, I went to New Layer Customs. Yeah. Definitely a good job. Did you do stealth on this one? Or is it just, oh, did you do stealth PPF yeah, on this one? It was gone. Yeah. Ah, G63. Oh, you can, it is a template yeah. one. It's see that? One. That's it's the difference though, you can see the edge there yeah. from uh, oh, they wrap it. New Layer Customs, you can't see like any of the edges. They did all the everything, it's amazing. A red Corvette Z06 that is in one piece. You have to hold both paddles back for it to really go into the neutral and let you rev it up. I see. Just in regular park, it will not let you. The Corvette's first time at Out of Office Garage, and there's always something cool here. This Viper has a supercharger on it, it makes like seven or 800 wheel horsepower, and someone I know may or may not have bought it recently. Looks nice, two American supercars you could call them. And then we've got this crazy Maybach, look at this thing. Edition 100 on the monoblocks. This is properly baller. And then Preston Avery's G63, which apparently I'm buying one for you, right? You want one? It's nice. It's nice? <laughs> no, you were like, can we have one? Right, right, right? Perhaps. Perhaps. Crazy. Oh, look at what just showed up here. 997 GT3 RS. Now that is a proper Porsche. It's got the full livery pack too. Back when 3 RSs were still manual transmissions. New ones are PDK only. There's always something cool back here. Oh, that's our transportation when they get married. Do you want to? These old school. Do you want to have that Porsche when we get married? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> when are we getting married? <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow. Uh, How come I'm just learning of this now? Because it's supposed to be a surprise. Oh. Really? It would be a surprise if I told you about it. Oh, okay. Yeah. The G wagon's your wedding present. Oh. Yeah. Um, that's very different sound. A Cam Dell S7. Yeah. Ow! Jesus! Well, that's very different. On our way home, we have encountered a random Gen 1 R8 with a rather gigantic wing and an aftermarket engine cover on it. I think, actually, wait, I think that might be forced induction. I think I see turbos back there. Pretty sure that might be my friend Alex's car. Yeah, those are turbos. Fun afternoon and evening back out with the Z06. Definitely looking forward to having this out for the summer. Gonna put it back in the garage. So we're at just over 3,300 miles and I was taking a look at my oil life. I did an oil change before it went away for storage, but it's down to 47%, which I assume is mainly due to time because this car was parked for half a year, right? So oil also not only has a mileage thing, but also a time and given the lower miles on the car overall, it's going to mainly be a time-based thing. So I may schedule a earlier oil change for the Z06 just to make sure everything is fine because with a high strung engine like this, you want to make sure that's not a problem at all. It is so fantastic to be back in the Z06. I have missed this car so much. I absolutely love it. As a testament to how much I love my Z06, remember, I sold my R8 RWS and the Shelby GT350R, both of which are some of my dream cars and kept this one because that's how special the Z06 is. So much more content to come. Obviously up next, we've got to install the Aventuri carbon fiber intake. And also don't forget, use my link below for a 10% discount on an escort radar detector. Just a good thing to have in the car. I mean, for example, today I had an incidents where an officer flashed his high beams at me for no reason whatsoever. So it's good to have a radar detector in the car for, you know, for peace of mind reasons. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I cannot wait to share more of the Z06 ownership experience. Thanks for watching.